So now we're looking at question 4. May 2018, the Board Physics Unit 1, the Year 11 paper. And question 4 is about pressure. So we'll do a quick mind map on pressure, so it can be the question. So, the definition of pressure is equal to force divided by area. The force divided by the area. That's the pressure. Now, force is always measured in newtons. And remember, weight and force are the same thing. Right? So that's a newton. Area can be have two units. It can have meters squared. You write that as meters squared. That two tells me you're in two dimensions, length and breadth. And the other unit of area could be centimeters squared. Now, just take it down here. If this is, you can have another unit called Pascals. And a Pascal, one Pascal, is one Newton in one meter squared, which is one Newton per meter squared. You see the way you look? Remember that trick? Newtons per meter squared is the same as Newtons per meter squared. You bring the superscript up you bring the power up you change the sign bring it back down you change the sign so a couple of simple things about pressure yet again what's the link between pressure we're saying pascals and force measured newtons but remember constant area here you have to keep something constant don't change everything so it's a Linear relationship, it's directly proportional because there's the origin. Big force, big pressure. Small, small pressure. Yes, they are directly proportional. Pressure is directly proportional to force. The other one that you have is the link between pressure and area for constant force. And this is an inverse relationship. As the area increases, the pressure decreases. See, look, as the area increases, the pressure gets smaller. As the area gets smaller, the pressure gets bigger. It's an inverse relationship. Notice that that doesn't touch the axis and that doesn't touch the axis. Notice the way I have labelled my y-axis. That's a habit you should get into. If you get into the habit of not labelling them, when you go to do a graph, you forget to label them. Or maybe you've learned not to label them. So that's about pressure. Is there anything else I want to do about pressure? Well, you have things like, if you want to make the pressure small, big area. You want to make the pressure big, small area. Big area, tractor wheels, snowshoes. Small pressure. A small area, knife edge. Cheese cutter. Big pressure. So let's see if we do the question. A uh, mountaineer wears snowshoes. This way must be up the other side of a Strava or somewhere. The snowshoes prevent her from sinking into the snow. Explain fully in terms of pressure why they so well. We need to make sure that we put down the formula because if you don't put down the formula, you probably don't get a mark. Right, so P equals F divided by A. If the force is constant and the area is increased, then the pressure decreases for a fixed force the area is inversely proportional to the pressure right so just have a look at that again 
Always remember the old kiss routine. Keep it simple, stupid. If you increase the pressure, oh, that's wrong. If you increase the area, the pressure comes down. You make that number bigger, that number gets smaller. If you make that number smaller, that number gets bigger. It's an inverse relationship. Whereas the pressure and force is directly proportional. This is inversely proportional, directly proportional. Now, do the next question. The mountaineer wears snowshoes a total area of that, so that's all right because I look at my notes and I have learned this. I know the pressure is in square meters, that's tickety boo, and it exerts a pressure of 1800 pascals. That's grand, and 100 of. Calculate the weight. Now, remember I said weight and force are the same thing. So pressure equals force over area. Mark for that. So calculate the weight. So we'll put in the bits and pieces 1800 is equal to the force over 0.5. Now there are people in our midst that will panic once they see this. But don't panic. Say I say 6 is equal to 12 divided by 2. How do I rearrange that form to get 12 equals something? I want f equals something. So 6 by 2 equals 12. Now that's hardly a scary event. Whereas there's my 6, there's my 2, and there's my 12. So 1800 by 0 0.5 is equal to f. Calculator. Now, do the sum twice. I know that if I get the half of 1800, it's about 900. We're going to do it anyway. It's 900. Now, it's 900 what? It's Newtons. That's correct. We'll do it again. 1800 by 0 0.5. 900 Newtons is equal to F. 900 Newtons. So let's have a quick look at the mark scheme. So the first one I said here, look, pressure is reduced larger area. Right? The area is increased, then the pressure decreases. See that? We'll have that. P equals F over A. Now, they're also given W over A. But again, if we went back to our mind map, force is in Newtons, and weight's in Newtons, so it's the same thing. Do you see that? So that's what you're supposed to try to make these things. So put them all in and get your answer of 900 Newtons. If you can't rearrange formulas, Give your brain a chance to learn. Keep it simple. And then convert it over to the slightly harder. Like that's hardly rocket science over here. Like That's identical to that. Match them up and then you can rejig that. If you can cross multiply handy, great. If you can't, learn how to do it. Hopefully, we'll see you in question number five.